Hello everyone and welcome to the PC Security Channel. In the previous video we compared Windows Defender to a default installation of Windows 10 in terms of resource usage using Novabench and we got an overall performance drop of about 7%, which is quite significant. As promised, in this video we're going to compare that to a third-party AV. Now since Windows Defender does come in built with Windows 10 and it's built by Microsoft, a lot of people naturally assume that it's probably the lightest security solution. Some people even assume that it has no performance impact. As for the latter, that's just objectively incorrect and we've kind of seen that last time. This time we're going to see how a free AV solution compares to Windows Defender in terms of resource usage. We do know that protection-wise Windows Defender does seem to lag quite a bit behind most good solutions. And if you want to see Windows Defender tested against malware, I do have videos on that as well, which you can check out. I'll link them in the description. But now let's get straight to the benchmark. Keep in mind, a default system scores 559, Windows Defender scored 520. Now we have a system running Bitdefender free, turned on, up to date, and enabled. We will run the same Nova Bench benchmark and compare the results. As usual, I will have to pause the video because the recording does significantly affect the test scores and we want to eliminate that random variable. So I'll be right back with the results and then we'll talk. All right, this is really interesting. So I've actually rerun the benchmark a couple of times because the funny thing is the score we're getting is not only higher than the score we got with Windows Defender, but it's also higher than the score we got without Windows Defender in our original benchmark. So we're currently getting a score of 575. And if we go back to the previous test, we got 559 on the default system and 520 with Windows Defender. So how do I explain this result? Now, of course, an easy way would just be to throw up your hands and say uncertainty, but that's not really the case because I have rerun this test a couple of times and it does seem to give me the same result. And the specs of the machine have stayed the same, so we'll have to do better than that. Now, what I think might be happening is that when I install Bitdefender, it probably disables a lot of the Windows Defender services, including smart screen, a few other background activities maybe, that are not disabled when I manually disable Windows Defender. So it could very well be that Bitdefender's installation process kind of reduces some of that overhead that Windows normally would have. Having said that, I'm really keen to see if you guys can reproduce these results. So if any of you are interested, definitely try to compare these Windows Defender and Bitdefender free and let me know if you find the same funny result because it is a little bit confusing. So interesting conclusion, using a third party AV actually speeds up your system. It's like, not only is Windows Defender not the lightest AV, perhaps it's not even close. If Windows Defender is worse than other AVs and heavier, is there any reason to not get a third party AV? I don't think so, because the only other reason I can think of is you don't have the time to install a third party AV, which is not really a very sensible argument, regardless of what device you're using. Windows Defender is quite clumsy, not only in, in the way it operates or in terms of security, but also in terms of resource usage. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you are able to reproduce these results, I'd love to see them. I hope you enjoyed this quick video. Thank you for checking out the website. If you're new, subscribe to the Peace Security channel. This is Leo. Thank you for watching and as always, stay informed, stay secure.